Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nicholson. Yo, your boy Milton Nipposet coming back. Listen, a little quick tip. Anybody that buys a Meta Quest Pro, I'm going to put you on game. I got actually um, one of these wireless headsets from Sony um, just to block out the noise and stuff like that. This got my, my, I got the partial blockers that it came with, but also have the full block coming in, I think, Wednesday. Uh, but the reason why I'm letting you guys know is that some people were talking about the actual power that this headset uh brings um because the the power of the headset actually does go depending on how you utilize it but i'm here to let you know that listen let's got a little hack for y'all let's just say you want you need some more power but you don't really want to stay restricted to a seat um most people they use like the battery pack like these power banks if i'm not mistaken um usually they look, they look like this um and what i did is i have the data cable from the Quest VR headset. I'm not sure how many people remember that, but the first generation Quest Oculus um, headset actually came with a data cable. This data cable, you know, from I think it was a Class C, if I'm not mistaken, USB-C, um, actually I think is stronger in terms of power source. It can conduct so much power more than the actual Quest Pro um, adapter that came with the actual headset. So. If you still have the, the actual Oculus DR, <laughs> DR, VR uh, power cable, let me see, data transfer cable, which is this. You can see the other side is actually connected. Um, this is actually very, very useful. The reason why I'm saying that is because it doesn't take long for this headset to charge when you use the actual data cable, not the power cable. Again, not the power cable that originally comes with the Quest Pro. This is the data cable, data transfer cable. Um, it actually has more. It, it, it'll, your, your headset actually charge faster. I'm just put, putting you on game. Also, if your battery does go low, um, what I did was I have this, right? This is in my kangaroo style pocket hoodie. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to zoom in on that, but look, right? If I put the battery in here, right, and I hook it up to the actual headset, I can walk around freely and don't have to be restricted in terms of movement even after the battery, the actual battery on the battery of the headset goes down. So this will be charging the headset while I'm walking around doing my VR stuff and doing kind of some crazy things right now. But I'm just giving you an idea that, listen, you, you can't have extended power without having to be restricted if you could put the battery in like a hoodie or something like that. that's what i'm wearing right now i got a little hoodie on kangaroo style until you know oculus i expect them to come out with an extended battery pack for the quest pro eventually uh but for now for those that are just wondering listen this thing is a game changer your boy about to be dropping so many different types of videos and i won't be forgetting my sneakers because I, I figured out a way to uh to integrate that into the whole virtual reality but i'll show that that's later on in the year. Your boy's just doing too much right now. But your boy, Vanipson, man, I am out. And you guys, stay blessed.